One moment everyone is talking about this morning is Oprah. Her speech accepting the Cecil B. DeMille Award that turned into a rallying cry. Take a look. The new day is on the horizon. When that new day finally dawns, it will be because of a lot of magnificent women and some pretty phenomenal men take us to the time when nobody ever has to say, me too. That is, oh sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. I was gonna say, this is Donald Trump's worst nightmare. <laughs> Why? Because she will have higher ratings than he will. Believe me, she has had higher ratings. Yeah. She can throw that in his face every single day. That's well, all he cares about. That's there's a lot of about. speculation about uh, whether she's considering <laughs> running for the White House. Hmm. Uh, well, Ste Stedman, Stedman said it yesterday. Stedman said, you know, she's she would do it. Uh, it's up to the people. And that was surprising to me because on CBS she said she would never run for office. But I have to tell you, I, I love Oprah. I love the stuff that she's done. I always call her the Oracle instead of Oprah. But don't we already have someone in the White House who has no political experience? And it's not going that well. So, so I sort of think, you know, people keep on talking about Ronald Reagan. Well, he was an actor, but he also was governor of California yeah. for eight years. So I don't I don't think you can just step into this role, even if you're as beloved as Why are you as, being so logical? Be you're so against... logical. <laughs> really, it's too logical what you're saying. We need someone who can win. That's all we care no. about. Look, I... But it's more than winning. You have to be able to run the country. But I figure I... it out just like he's trying oh to do. God. I think it speaks to the, <laughs> the hunger, the thirst out there for an alternative. There's yes. no clear runner. There's no clear nominee on the Democratic side. And I think somebody like Oprah, you know, if, if Donald Trump showed us something is that you can break the box. You can mm -hmm. break the mold. You That's can run right. outside going the so borders. Well. Yeah, but listen. <laughs> But can I Unlike that, Donald Trump, uh, Oprah did not start with her daddy's money. She started poor as hell. That's right. Unlike Donald Trump, Oprah's never been accused of sexual harassment. She's been sexually abused. Unlike Donald Trump, That's you know, this woman has faced poverty. She's faced challenge. Right. She has. She is relatable for real. And people I, love her. But people when you run her. for president right now, she has an 80% Q score awareness, and she's a beloved icon, obviously. When you run for president, mm -hmm. you automatically just announcing you'll polarize the country. Right. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if she wants that. I don't I don't know her. I don't know anything about her, but she has businesses across the country. Yes, if she yeah. feels like she can do good, but if I were Democrats right now, I would be looking at Joe Biden. I would be looking at Michelle Obama, quite frankly, she in a lot of different ways. Interested. Everybody says they're not interested until it's DEFCON 1 and, you know, the, you know, people are sounding the alarm that nothing can happen, that no one else can possibly win. I wouldn't underestimate her. I think you're 1,000% right. It's not that I don't think she could be president. It's just does she ultimately want she to, does. which I'm also You know why? Because she's done everything. She's produced. She's acted. She's directed. She had a host show. She started her own damn network, for God's sake. Yeah. Something else that even Trump hasn't been able to do. Yeah. So what's the next step? Run the world. I gotta tell you. <laughs> <laughs> you got a car, and you got a car. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and there we'll be you are. Chief of staff. <laughs> <laughs> oh hell no! <laughs> no no no! Y'all don't want me up in there. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs>